You people all have issues. That's all I'm going to say. You people just, you all have issues. We had a terrible dinosaur escape last time. It was horrible. Our dinosaurs went wild. They took people down. They destroyed my precious Triceratops arch. And what do you people do? You come in droves. Oh my gosh, guys. The popularity has gotten out. And even though I thought for sure that almost destroying half the park and smushing a bunch of guests would have made people run away from us, it has actually just made us immensely popular. So welcome back to Parkosaurus, where people just donated $200 just like that. That was so cool. And we seem to be doing quite well. I told somebody to repair this rock pile. Uh, she still hasn't done it. But we are doing quite well, for the most part, in keeping our dinosaurs happy and being able to keep our guests happy and make a lot of money. And what are we going to do with these massive amounts of money? I mean, look at that. We are really rolling in it now and all of the science that we are unlocking well let's make stuff happen i cannot believe that we have actually unlocked this much already um and i am finally starting to figure out how all of the perks sort of play with one another and i do want the t-rex fountain would be really nice a playground would be really cool like for children i haven't seen any children oh boxed mushrooms <gasps> That would be so cute. And we do want the epic gemstone at some point and to start getting some of these perks that can kind of like build on top of each other. So I do think, oh, and I do want the new science presentation stations. So actually, I think I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna try it for the new science presentation station. Research spaceship? What? What is this? I want a spaceship, that sounds really cool. And funnel cake cinnamon, which I think when people eat funnel cake, it will also make people happy and it will increase time at park. And there's another perk where they might actually uh, call their friends over too. So that's really cool. And then we would get a wood science presentation station. All right, I'm spending our science on that and then we'll save up for the radio as well because we've become very popular of late and it's kind of amazing. We also almost have enough hearts to be able to get the theropods added into the park. We do need to start adding some more of the Kentosauruses because they are pretty sad that there are not more of their kind. So let's pop into town and let's have a visit, a couple uncommon gems, to these wonderful chickens. Hello, my dears. Oh, I need to get some more Stegosauria footprints if we want to be able to get more of the Kintosauruses. And I do want to work on the Gigantospinosaurus. That's what they are. The Gigantospinosaurus exhibit, which is going to be a, a alpine exhibit. So we're gonna work on that too. Let's get one of these guys. So we at least can have one more Kent. There we go. And we'll tuck him kind of in the back. Wonderful. Let's get some more, oh! I still have an expedition team active. Oh, I didn't know. There we go, everyone. We've got this. All right. And it looks like I've got just a little bit more digging to do. And then I will send... Why can't I get this piece? Okay. Return home, I guess. And we're going to go and collect up more fossil pieces so that we can get uh, more Kents. And we can also get some of the Gigantospinosaurus. Or G Spinosaurus? Giganta... Mm, I can't remember. I can't remember. I think it's like Gigantostegosaurus. There we go. There's so many giants in the dinosaur realm. And look at Rindatin here. He is super, super hungry, but he just donated $214. He doesn't even have that much anymore. Is he coming over to get a banana? We have bananas, sir. If you are hungry, we do have bananas, but I understand that bananas are not your thing. So what is he doing? He's just chilling. He's just chilling. Also, I don't think this can, the rock pile can be repaired. So let's actually get rid of it. And let's see, buildings, decorations, rock pile. Ah, there we go, nice rock pile. And then I'll, I'll, I can put down some ferns if I wanted to. What else could I decorate with? Oh, there's so much stuff. There's a bridge, what? There's really fancy bridges. <gasps> I wanna be able to build really cool bridges. I was just thinking how nice it would be if we could make a bridge over our rainforest area so people could get to the other side. Look at all of the points we have. This is amazing. This person wants to donate like a ton of a ton of stuff. Is that Ren Dalton again? No, this is somebody else. Um, he wants to donate $213 to this place. He just needs to walk a few more steps. It is a little dark. We should probably get some perks going so that we can see where we're headed. Um, let's see. 
Let's actually advertise on the radio though, so that now we have even more visitors coming so that we can really pile on what we can learn from. And then where is my facility? I want buildings, would it be exhibit building? Wood science presentation station. All right, so I should probably get this installed like over here and then I can install some food over here as well. Hmm, wonton truck. Cause the different places also provide different perks. So it might actually be good to have multiple types of places. Um, all right, stone, wood science presentation station. Let's put that over here. I'm gonna need another scientist. So we're gonna need to start hiring more people soon. Whoa, but we are making the money for it. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. We are gaining so much money. I had no idea all you had to do was just advertise, but there are people here and we do not need to be nearly as conservative with what we have been building and what we have been doing. I can't believe this. Um, let's go ahead and get this down. I need to hire a new scientist. Let's do this out of my way. Uh, we want somebody with a ton of personality. Wait. Why don't we have any more personality? You guys don't have enough personality. I need a lot of personality. This won't do, you don't have enough personality. Um, this is actually the front of my area. That is so cool. Uh, let's see, so we'll look at that in a second. Oh wait, here's a new scientist, no speed. Yeah, this is a new scientist. And this one has a lot of personality. 14, chapter, speed and ability. We're gonna hire this guy, there we go. Uh, so that's interesting. You can actually like close the resumes and hire a new person. All right, we need chapter. Where is he? Come here, buddy. Nope, 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 nope. You need to come right, get chapter. Why can't I pick him up? Where is he going? Station, you're gonna go here. The research station, okay? There, research. Come on, buddy. Why can I not drag him over there? Oh my gosh, all right. Come on. All right, he's headed that way. He just didn't want to be like manually hauled over to that spot. And I can put some decorations down around him. Do I want to put like another, maybe, yeah, let's do like another cool moss archy thing for people to walk through. And then I'm going to pick him up and there, all right, he's at the station, thank goodness. Oh, and you put him on top of it. Most of my people are standing like under it, so that's kind of hilarious. All right, so he's over here. We have classic clocks we could put down. We have these cool domes. Um, potted plants, rock piles. I need more decorations to be able to make this like a really fun place for people to walk down. All right, and I need more attractions like food. Uh, employee building. Oh, there's like a nice gazebo that I could tuck over here. Oh, we could put a gazebo. Well, that might clog up this area actually. Yeah, we could put a gazebo over here so people could sit and rest while they listen to him. I like that idea. They could sit and rest. They could listen to him, give his presentation, and they could stop for... Hey, calm down over there, Tiki. You're fine. Stop for maybe a soda and pop? Dinosaur art? French fry stand? Let's see, I think if you put the soda and pop next to the butterfly thing. Yeah, the butterly delicious mixed with the soda and pop is supposed to be like the superpower. So let's put that down. And that's butterly delicious. And then soda and pop. Oh, it's so big. I thought it was gonna be smaller. Ah, well, we'll put it over here too. It's really, really ugly. Maybe if I make it green, that'll make me feel better. All right, making it green did make me feel, shake the can. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. <laughs> I love all of the little Easter eggs you can find. Let's actually turn this thing up to like 825 and we're gonna change the colors on this. And you can do the perk Butterly Thirsty, which increases the desire for soda and pop by 25%. Or you could do it by Butterly Thirsty 4. And so what we'll do is we'll make this cheap. And this is gonna increase the desire for soda and pop by like a thousand percent. And let's actually raise it up to like 14 dollars. 
<laughs> Will people pay that much if they're like, I have to have it because they have eaten the butterly item? They might. That's kind of that's kind of mean, but it's also kind of hilarious. And we also need to add in recycling bins over here if we're gonna do this. So we do need some recycling bins now. So let's actually settle it in. Uh, recycling bins right next to it. There we go. And we'll put down a path so people can get to the recycling bins okay. Nice. And then I'll kind of hide them a little bit with some pretty plants. Boom. Boom. And boom. Nice. I like how it's turning out. We can even put down some more pretty plants right over here. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. I really want to unlock more plants actually. That's kind of a major personal goal. All right, and speaking of unlocking new things though, oh, and we also need a little bathroom section. So I don't think I can have bathrooms yet, but we can have these fancy outhouses. So I'm gonna go ahead, one outhouse, two outhouse, maybe a nice little picnic area where people can relax for a second. That might be nice, like a little picnic area where if you just wanna sit down over here, you can. Maybe we can even put in like a couple street lights if you're having trouble like figuring out where the the spots are and we'll replace some of these street lights with the mossy colored things or like the mossy torches down that direction in the future and then let's come put the path over here i'm figuring it out guys <laughs> slowly but surely it's happening all right there and we'll just do this nice doesn't need to be huge and fill in these spots there you go. Maybe put a nice, ooh, let's put up a tree over here. My favorite. Ha, now I'm happy. How could I have forgotten that I have the power of trees? There we go. Now we're talking. All right, so that's gonna be like impossible for me to see in there now, but I don't care because this is really nice. And I'm even willing to put down some of the potted plants over here. Maybe some potted wildflowers. And, oh, look at that. That's actually kind of nice. Like, put down a little collection of pots and maybe a potted laurel. Boom. Oh, that's actually really pretty. I like this section now. With the light coming in. And there's trees hiding in the soda can. There's people who want to donate a ton of money. This is nice. I like it. All right. Where are we on the hearts? <gasps> Their pods are unlocked, my friends. You know what that means. Whoops, and we also have a dig that we needed to do. <laughs> Didn't notice. All right, let's do this. Down across the way. Boom, boom, and boom. All right, we got that taken care of. And then boom, okay, but here, no. What about down here? Okay, we're getting close somewhere here. All right, ooh, there's a lot of digging going on here. Okay, we've gotta be really careful because we've got quite a bit happening. And then we've got this one. Then we've got this one. There's another one hiding right down here. Can I get that with him? Okay, we're gonna use him to search over there. There's actually another dig site. Ooh, there's another couple dig sites over here. All right, who else can I use? All right, we can search here. Here. Ooh, getting tricky. She can help me here. There's five items left. We found so many of them. Oh, 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 oh. Can I get it with the last few moves? I can, huzzah! We can return home and we can actually start going to Therapodia. Yes, all right. Oh my gosh, and we have so much money. Let's hurry, hurry, hurry. Okay, okay, train, train, train. Go, 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 go. Uh, let's get the mud. Let's get the mud. We're gonna get this exhibit in for the new dinosaur. I've been talking about it for way too long. Mushrooms everywhere. A few seconds left. Come on, keep going. Keep going. We've got this. Huzzah! All right, and now we can start preparing the alpine section. And look at all those donations. This is unreal. I can't believe all it took was just advertising with everything that we've got. And the next thing you know, we actually can just, we can have everything that we possibly want. And a new challenge. Hooray! Today is arguably the best day of the year. Let's eat butter sticks. Just sell 15 deep fried butter sticks in a single day. Oh my gosh, I think that's what these are called. 
some butter sticks. <laughs> we made them cheap. We made them cheap so that people will come over to our soda and pop stand. I'm gonna actually pull the profit up on that even higher. That is awesome. So we might put down more butter stick stands. Oh, we have a new dinosaur to hatch, which means I really need to start pulling the names. But that pulls the social up for these guys so that they're happy because they finally have a big enough herd. So they're super duper happy. We have tons and tons of people like coming in. Look at how quickly there's people who are unhappy because they're like, the decoration isn't very nice. Just you wait, my friends, just you wait. Uh, and actually, can I get them to walk through the, the science fence? Where is my science gate? Because now I'm like mad with power and I, I want them to want generate science credits from guests. This is so cool. Can I force them to like walk through it? Because that would be so cool if I could actually put down like two science gates as you enter. Um, I'm going to put one right here. And people walk through it, right? Yeah, people are going through it just fine. And it generates science credits. Science gate. I hope it generates science credits. All right, I, I kind of put it at the front so people can get the idea that we're like a scientific facility. But we'll have to see. Oh my gosh! Look at that! I think we only needed it in one spot! No, wait, I think it's anybody who's nearby. You just get a little bit of science from them. <gasps> I'm going to put those everywhere. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be amazing, guys. This is gonna be absolutely amazing. All right, next thing I need to do, though, is definitely clear this out. I have been saying for too long that we were going to turn this into a new exhibit, and we haven't, but to be fair, We've been making so much money out of the blue. I wasn't prepared for that. And I wasn't prepared for like the grand escape that we had. Uh, almost done, removing everything. Okay, and you can remove just the plants this way. Oh, that's so nice. That was so helpful. Okay, so now we have a swamp. We need to turn it into an alpine biome. So let's do that before we go today. Otherwise, I don't know if I'm going to be able to. So, oh, and our expedition arrived at the portal room. Very nice. We'll work with that in a little bit. Whoa, that does not feel like that was smart terrain. Uh, can I please flatten that? Okay, we're going to go ahead and elevate in patches. And the roughness of the area shall actually help out making it closer to a tundra area. I really messed up the other spot, so I'm not going to get too chaotic with the terraforming tools. This terrifies me for what terraforming in Sims 4 is going to be like with the new stuff that they have. Uh, all right, there we go. Got the tundra down. We managed that much. Now we need the alpine side of things. If I put smart water down, what happens? Does it go anywhere? Does it? Oh, ah! it made a little spot. Is it going down? Is it going to stay there? I don't think it actually made it very wet. Can I, uh oh, I think I just, there we go. Okay, so we're starting to get little patches. Now we're a swamp because I made it too flat, phooey. All right, let's elevate it again. Note to self. I was trying to make like a fun little waterfall, but I don't think you can make a waterfall. It just makes the water go down. So we'll make little adorable, they kind of remind me of Iceland now, like little adorable pockets of water just all over the place. Iceland was much more waterfally, to be fair. Look at the water go. That's so pretty. Because we need to add a lot of it in order to make it an alpine biome. So I think having a little bit here and there, all over the place, will make that happen. Are we alpine? Yes! We are an alpine biome! Wonderful! We can put down a whole bunch of privacy grass in the future. And then let's go ahead and finish up with the biodiversity of this area and then next time we'll be able to start focusing on putting something actually in here and unlocking some of the new plants i didn't even think about that we should definitely start investing in new plants tree stumps please lots and lots of tree stumps many like large dead trees please they're very lovely they will help us with our massive amounts of oh we need a lot of trees for this area oh my gosh this is going to be interesting Okay, I wonder if this might have to be a multi-day project. Oh, look, because we made it so big. It's like, oh yeah? Well, let's give you like an alpine forest then. Oh, this is so cool. This is very random, but I wish my Yukiers in my niche series could have lived here because this is totally up their alley. 
Alright, let's add a bunch of reeds. This is so much fun. I'm so happy. Reeds, reeds, reeds. We're gonna need to give the reeds enough water. So we need to make sure that they're close to water sources. Man, now I'm kind of getting an interesting Minecraft vibe from this. Alright, there we go. Maybe some ferns. You know, a few little ferns with our mushrooms. Nice, nice, nice. And finally, let's wrap up with a whole bunch of really cool crystals that we actually get to scatter around the place. Oh my gosh, we need so many crystals. I need to unlock more decorations for our exhibits before we make more of them, that's for sure. Yay, and we sold the butter stuff, which means that hopefully people are going to be frantically buying because they have that perk. The soda pop stuff. All right, are we almost there before the end of the day? Can I put down? I did it, enough rocks. All right, we've done it guys. Now we have a amazing crystal studded new tundra biome, the great tundra that we will be adding in uh, animals for. And it's privacy 100% because we have no fence line against it just yet. And look at that, another 20,000 that's coming in. I can't believe this. Look at how many donations. Look, while people wait, they're gonna be generating science for us. This is amazing. <laughs> Maybe I should move this so, well, it's kind of cool to have people like walk into it so we can try to pretend like, yeah, we're not here for the money, we're here for the science. Uh, and can we unlock anything else? forest pack and we can unlock the great trees oh my gosh we're gonna do that next time we are so gonna do that next time and we have 8,000 science oh. all right there's a lot of upgrades that we are going to be having um and I kind of want to put these uh these art places everywhere because I want everyone to leave with some of the wonderful dinosaur art that we can offer up from our many wonderful wonderful dinos so beautiful rugged area absolutely interesting I will admit I think it's kind of cool looking a really interesting little like soda section that at least our stegosaurus like has something to watch if that makes sense there's people here oh look at that playing with the little balls oh that's so cute I love it I love it and we'll add in more dinos and see what we can do next time because now we're rich and it's awesome <laughs> so I'll see you guys then bye bye